I Shabbat Shalom, Yashorala. All right, peace be to the nation of Israel, who are the modern day so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American Indians, otherwise known as the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, and uh, speck of our Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon the Great. We are the Most High, Yahweh chosen people of the nation of Israel. All right. So without further ado, we're gonna go and face the east. All right. Give all praise, glory, infinite honor to our power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bashim, Yo Shai, Bashim, Kapudash. All right. In the ancient Hebrew term, we're gonna go to Mashanah, Kabbalatim, Lahas, Kwanim, Shalz, Gadol, Rakah, many double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone. True shepherds of Israel, the Lord, the like minded Shaquani will Akim across the four corners of the earth, also pushing the sound doctrine, faith, truth, sincerity. All right, Shalom. All right, back at it again. It's an end season, not season. On the highways and the hedges. All right, uh, to bring forth these good tidings to the people in need. Pursuing Isaiah the 61st chapter, not the Israelites. All right, the, 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 the 12, the Lord's 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, we, we, we should come out here for it, man. Okay, uh, and on the other side of the spectrum, Prophesy against Mount Syria, the downfall of, of the modern day inhabitants of Basra. All right, these self-proclaimed Caucasians, the white people, these Edomites. Okay, all right, the, 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 the disease of the earth. Okay, destroying the entire earth, man. We're seeing a Revelation 11 chapter. Okay, you know, so we're 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 living in within these end times. Okay, they're being further uh, uh, showcased by these these end signs, man. All right, of these end time prophecies. Okay, all right, with uh, 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 you know further displaying. Of, um, um, uh, a full display of the downfall of the self-proclaimed white man. Okay, especially what's going on right now recently, where there was the IDF, uh, the IDF carried out the, uh, the, the ground incursion in, uh, 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 in uh, the Gaza, and uh, at the Gaza Strip, man. Okay, and, and uh, Iran just recently uh, uh, threatened them. So we're gonna see how this, how this uh, maps out, because now it's starting to get real juicy, man. Okay, pursuing Ezekiel 38 chapter, all right? On, on these heathen nations, okay, uh, choosing their side in this last world's war, Harvard God won, man. To eventually lead it to the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, the hammer of the entire earth. All right? Uh, in Job uh, 20 and 27. And speaking of ensigns, okay, Esau's uh, enchantments of his, West, of, of his satanic devices, including his Western media, is not working. Okay? Because all over the world, there are global pro Palestinian uh, protests, man. Uh, down there in London, they got about uh, at least 100,000 people uh, protesting for the violence on behalf of the Israeli government and the IDF to stop against the Palestinians. Then over there in France, okay, you got a, you got a multitude of people also doing the same thing. Then we also, of course, we got we got national pro-Palestinian protests like down here locally, okay, downtown, okay. So this is a further insight of the downfall of the Edomites pursuing a Jeremiah 49 and 10. Why? Because the Heavenly Father Yahweh is making you eat in my spare. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Job 20, it's down with verse 27. It says, The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. Come on, what is iniquity? Compound sin. You get 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. You see? And, who, and because uh, uh, who was the man of sin and son of perdition? Esau Edom. Okay, and that's why in Habakkuk 2 and 4 it says that. His soul is not lifted up upright in him, man. This devil was created, okay, to, to be evil and to be the epitome of to represent the epitome of evil, man. And this is why the earth, the earth has no choice but to recognize and identify this devil, Esau, Edom, self play white man, as the devil the Bible speaks of, man. You can't even steal, murder, destroy. See? That's why the, the, the heavens are rising up against this devil, man. Calling him out for his war crimes, especially in the Middle East, uh, down in the Holy Land right now. Okay? Because why? People are, are, are carnal minded and they and, and see that further confirms that Esau's devices has further uh, may, uh, uh, contributed to his downfall because he has pushed sensationalism, okay, especially uh, 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 in looking to play the victim and get it looking to condition the minds of the masses to, to uh, look at him and perceive him to be the victim down here when he's the one perpetrating the violence down there against them, them Ishmaelites, okay. Because children are involved. And that's why this guy, uh, Jake Morfonios from Blackstone Intelligence, pushed out some information on a, a, tele, a, a telegram, okay, of uh, uh, children being brutally uh, uh, battered, okay, by Esau uh, Edom's uh, uh, missiles. All right? That's, that's a book of 7 Thessalonians, chapter 3. Chapter 2, sound word 3, says, Let no man. Deceive you by any means, 
for that day shall not come, except there become a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. He's being revealed, man. Okay, and you see what see what force is revealing him. Okay, can you get Second Corinthians ten and four? What force is revealing him, man? The Holy Spirit of this word. You see? This is why they want to ban the Bible. And they've done little test runs, they've done little trial runs, you know what I'm saying, of trying to ban the Bible because this is a true source, okay, of 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 uh, uh okay, of uh opposition against this satanic new world order of this devil, man. You see this is how they want to silence us by censoring censoring us on on the uh you know what I'm saying on, on the unicorn. Alright? But it's not working. See? No, Christian Isaiah 19.3, the spirit of, of, of bondage of Egypt is wearing off. That's why you devils being exposed, man. That's right. This, this is the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10. And 7 verse 4 it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through power for the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations of every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Mashiach. That's right. You see, he didn't much know obedience to the Holy Spirit because uh, wisdom, uh, like it says, wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4, wisdom cannot dwell in the malicious soul. You see? You know what, what does it say in the Hebrews 12 and 16 and 17 about the devil, Esau, Edom? That he's vile and profane. Okay, and that's why in the book of Psalms 36 chapter, it speaks about how he cannot go to sleep without conspiring uh, some, some manner of carnality and witchcraft, okay, uh, uh, through malicious intent to destroy uh, uh, as many people on the earth, all right? That's why they got this campaign going on on um, behalf of these condom hats, probably trying to be us, that if you're, if you, if you're pro-Palestine, then you're then you're uh, you're you're a terrorist. You're a fucking terrorist. I just say it straight out like that, man. Fuck that censorship. If you're pro Palestine, then you're a terrorist, according to Esau Edom. So I, I so I imagine the, the the millions of people that are protesting against you in regards to this pro Palestine campaign are, are terrorists. Then when they when, when, meanwhile, despite them uh, uh, protesting peacefully with no weapons, they're terrorists, right? No one's buying your bullshit anymore, man. Okay. Right, Esau. Cause the Holy, yeah, because the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you eating much, man. Okay? Can you get a uh, Proverbs 24 and 6? This world is not with you anymore. Now, the vast majority of Revelation 13 and 3 is because this is spiritual warfare. And in, in war, in warfare, there has to be two sides. See? So, the vast majority were pre, 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 uh, predestinated, preordained, okay, to, to, uh, to remain engulfed any in, in, in the enchantments of your devices, okay? Through your, your, your wine of fornication, okay? Including your democracy, okay? Your diplomacy, your bureaucracy, your, your politics, your military industrial complex. That's why right now, America, Babylon the Great is still technically num uh, 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 numero uno, so to say, right? But not for long, no? Why? Because your strongholds are, are being torn down by the Holy Spirit of this word. That's right. Go ahead, this is the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, chapter verse 6, and it reads, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Exactly. Who is a multitude of counselors, man? The prophets. You see? You know, sent out here to warn the nation of Israel. The only people that matter to the Heavenly Father. That's always been the case. Okay? The law to the tribes of Israel. Okay, you devils are not Israelites, man. You see, so the, we we are the counselors, okay, on a, a, on the highways and hedges where we we were commanded to, to be, okay, to sound the trumpet, to sound the alarm for Jake, okay, that evil is coming, evil is here, it's not coming, it's here, it's only intensifying, man, because like I say, this whole uh, Israel Hamas situation is affecting the global GDP, which further confirms what. This devil has contributed to his own downfall, like it says in Sirach 14 and 5. If he's evil against himself, what good can he do to, uh, to, any, to anyone else, roughly paraphrasing, man? Not a damn thing. You see? Because they're cutting off the water, electricity, and gas to them impoverished Ishmaelites over there in the land. Because that's a further insight what they can do over here. They did the same thing to us 
in uh in a uh, 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 73 AD around the downfall of uh Masada, which is our last fortress. Okay, that's when Esau was cutting off the uh, the imports of of uh, uh, resources, including food and water, into Israel. That's why a lot of uh, cannibalism, you know, what I'm saying was going on around that time due to that famine, that orchestrated famine. So that's going to happen again. That's going to happen again to our people, man. Okay, but in Isaiah the 65th chapter, it says that the Heavenly Father is not going to allow that to happen to his elect. That's right. You see? Precept. Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and some verse 11. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. I don't think we can be touched. You see? You know? So we're not, we're not, Esau's mind frame, his mindset is, oh well. You know, God ain't doing nothing. You know, he, he's not, he's not, he's not striking right now. You know, so just you know, and that goes into Psalm the second chapter. Can you get that Psalm uh, uh, two? I believe it's not where it says speak about the, uh, the, the, the derision. Okay, see, this is the derision of you heathen, man. You ain't you Ishmaelites, man? Cause you're not innocent. You, you, you Ishmaelites over there, uh, 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 mainly the ones that, that call themselves Palestinians, not the true Palestinians, man. You see, because Palestine goes back to uh, uh, to the Philistines, the Philistines, man, the Hamites. It just so happens you Ishmaelites are dwelling in that land. Okay? You see that? So, Priscilla of Joel, the third chapter, speaks about Tyre and Zidon, talking about you Hamites, including you Ishmaelites, man. And how you contributed to the, the oppression and affliction of Jake, especially during the Trans Saharan slave trade. Where you, you Ishmaelites, where uh, uh, you were sticking uh, sharp instruments up the quiver about women, you were doing, man, you were doing wickedness, okay? You were doing egregious wickedness to our people, man. That's why then what, what's these uh, bodegas, whatever, get, you know, Ishmael will have these Eve go to the back of the store, freak off on them, just so they can they can allow Eve to get uh, go, uh, 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 to walk away with free goods and whatnot. So you're still exploiting our people. That's why the Heavenly Father is fucking you up over there, okay? On behalf of your 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 arch enemy, so to say, on behalf of Esau Edom. What is saying Genesis 43 and 33? How the eldest and and the youngest will marvel at, at one another. Talking about uh, Esau and Ishmael, specifically Amalek and Ishmael. That's why I go into war over land that don't fucking belong to you, man. So what, what's going on over there, on behalf of uh, both you, Ish you Malachites and you Ishmaelites, is justified, man. But, uh, this is the book of Psalms 59 and 8. It reads, "But thou, but thou, O Lord, how about you now? Shall I shall laugh at them? Thou shall have all the tears." Generation, because of his strength, will I wait upon thee, for God is my defense. Exactly. So he's our defense, not your defense. Can you get Psalm two? Uh, he's our defense. He's not. That's why he's not. He's not. He's not defending you. You. You Ishmaelites over there. You so-called Palestinians. You see. So no, we're not. We're not pro-Palestine. Fuck them Palestinians, man. The Ishmaelites. Straight yeah. up and down. Men, women, and children. Go ahead. Hello. You know, they, they're trying to get Jake to pick a side. Right? What, 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 what benefit is it, is it there for us? All of you are the enemies of Yasharana, okay? I mean, let's make it very clear. We don't pick a side, okay? Our side is who? You know, my side. 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 You know, my Okay? So is he the wrong place. Okay? Hey, please, you call yourself to have any byway. We're not here for you. I mean, you're essentially, yes. you're, essentially like, you're, yeah. you're essentially doing that by protesting, but uh, what you're doing is begging the devil to stop being the devil, like it says in Lamentations 4 17 about us. Yeah. You know how, how you know, we, 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 uh, we our, our eyes will long for, for vain help from a, from a nation that cannot save us, roughly paraphrased. That's why in the, in the following verse in the same chapter it says how they would hunt our, they would hunt our steps. Yeah. We don't need you. There's nothing you can. We don't need you. You're gonna. You're the base of man. You're going. You're going in this hardcore slavery. Okay. Starting with the elites, the Bilderberg, the Rockefellers, all your, all your freaking ex-presidents, you sort of my slave masters. Okay. All you Edomites that are somebody. We're not talking about dog on fucking dog on love and shit, freaking dog on regular dog on basic. I mean, this is only work here. This is a book of Psalms, chapter two, Psalm verse one. It says. Why do the heathens rage 
and the people in my generation team. The king of the earth set themselves and the rulers stay counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. Yeah, that's what you did. You should have signed the 83rd chapter. That's what you did, man. You had a you had a you had a crafty consultation, okay, on behalf of Esau Edom, okay? And, and alliance with you other nations to try to remove the remembrance of Jake from the earth. That's why to this day our people don't collectively know who they are. They don't know that they're the chosen people of both sides. They've been so conditioned they think it's Esau, and mainly Amalek. Okay? That's why you got this fucking coon ass nigga, Amari Stoudemire, and uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, advocating peace to the wicked when in Isaiah 48 and 21, and 22 rather, it says there should be no peace to the wicked. You see? Especially due to the fact that they, they, they adopted our, our customs from our dumbass uh, forefathers, man. Okay, specifically uh, John Hurricanes. Okay, that's, that's that's why they have something called Judaism. Fuck it, I just say it, Judaism. Okay, that has nothing to do with the Torah, the Torah. See, that's a that's a that's a, a philosophy. That's not that's not a lot. That's that's not of the uh, of the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, man. You see. That's why all of you uh, see everything that's happening to you nations is justified, man. The Heavenly Father is bringing horrible uh, 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 earthquakes, you know what I'm saying, and um, you know devastating uh, weather catastrophes in the Middle East. It's not a coincidence; these things are happening. Deadly earthquakes simultaneously in Afghanistan recently. You see. Meanwhile, you sad niggas, you know what I'm saying, were enjoying the break ass fight yesterday between Tyson Fury and the other guy, UFC guy. Okay. Because you're, you're, you're wealthy. That's why that, that, that fight took place in Saudi Arabia. Because you're, 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 you're wealthy in that oil. But, yeah, but your people are fucked up over there. You see? So, that's the, see, this is, this is a part of the origin of your heathen nations, man. You think you got it going on. You think you're going to take over Esau, Edom, okay, and, and, and position of rulership. But all of you, could, uh, see, the, all the crowns of your heathen nations is going to be taken by Yahweh Shah. You've seen the, the book of Revelation, okay? I believe it's in the 18th or 19th chapter. Okay, so you're done, man. Go ahead. He that said it in the heavens shall love the Lord of Mashiach shall love them in derision. Hey. Then go ahead, go ahead. shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sword of displeasure. Hey, why is he, why is he, is he, is he, is he destroying you in his sword of displeasure? He hates you. Okay, what does it say in the book of Wisdom of Solomon? In uh, Psalm 5 and 5. The Heavenly Father hates the sin and the sinner. Contrary to what these so-called uh, wacky tacky Christians like to say, these so-called religious fanatics, the Heavenly Father despises the sin and the sinner, man. You see? That's why what we're doing right now, okay, is the filthy rags. You see? It's, a, it's, it's an honor to do this, this ministry, to be, to be uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 you, know, to, to, uh, you know, to be engulfed in this ministry, man, to please, to, to make our calling election sure, okay? Because we don't know if we're, we don't know if we're of the elect, and that's that's why that's how Yahweh by Shimon Shah set it up to keep us on edge. Because we don't deserve to know that we're of the elect. Because we transgress the laws, that's commandments so much, man. Hence, why we got given over to the hands of the heathen nations to do what they to do as they please with us, put us in slavery. You know what I'm saying? Sexually assault us, fuck break us. Well, you know what? Uh, you know what's up, Jacob is saying? Well, if all of Jacob is going to be saved, why go to all the trouble of coming on the highway to Bible? Why go and put yourself in danger to preach this gospel? Why follow the laws when you're going to go into the kingdom anyways? Here's the deal. You have the two-thirds, and then you have the one-third. And then you have the 144,000. Do you like to be A, B, or C? Which one do you want to be? We're not up here to just get into the kingdom, okay? Lord willing, the man that you see go and cry and sigh on the highway to the Bible against this wicked devil, okay? A part of the governing elect, okay, the 144,000 men who will have responsibilities, okay, to go about, okay, and undo what Esau has done for thousands of years, okay. See, that's the problem with you dug on. That's the problem with you dug on. You, you dug on worthless niggas and spicks, man. You see, you want to take the easy way out. You see, you want to you want to benefit of the fruit and labor of another man's work. That's why you so comfortable making Esau as his practice boss right now at a low level.
But at the end of the day, the Lord is not going to keep you messing. That's why, Jacob Sharper, you will have not a damn thing, not even the basic of food and water to drink, running constantly for your life from each other and also these other nations that don't want to see you nothing as you go on uh, uh, pass. Hey, didn't a uh, double high level uh, official from uh, Israel, she sat down and she said, the trouble that they have in Israel is the double so called blast. What does that tell you? How the hell? Wait a minute. What about Hamas and Dogon Hezbollah and all the rest of them? How does Dogon? Defenseless, the defenseless Negroes living in your nation is a is 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 is, is a cause of your your demise and your fall over there. Okay, so that, that makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, you know why? You know because that's the part of Esau's uh, uh, narratives, you know, to to, to spin and his Western media propaganda tools and outlets and so forth. Okay, to 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 suggest that he's a people, he the chosen people, and we're not. We're the peasants, which technically we are by way of the curses. We see the Deuteronomy 28 and 43 specifically. But you devils are the real peasants, man. You're the real disease of the earth. You're, we're not the one. Case the point, it's not Jake that's contaminating the water and the food and the air supply. You know what I'm saying? Compromising people's lives through your military industrial complex and so forth. You know, a, a, a bombing uh, 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 any so-called so-called innocent civilians. You see that? Well, that's also a snare too, because you had these, a lot of these Jakes, you know, parked up and went to the so-called so so promised land. Okay, the holy land. Okay, assuming that they was going to be able to escape the judgment or well. If we're the Hebrew Israelites, then we should be living in Israel. But most people are trying to tell you right now, they're trying to uh, they're trying to extradite you the hell out of there by, 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 by laboring you as criminals over there. Because what they're trying to do right now is a land cleaning. That's why they're going after these other, these are these are the, uh, the Ishmaelites. Okay? They're trying to cleanse the land and try to say that we are the truth. The Lord is not, break, the, it's not bringing the Hebrew Israelites into Israel or buy or, or, or propeller planes. Right. You people went over there in 1948 on fucking propeller planes. Okay? Force of fuel planes. We're going over there in style. Okay? In style. In new bodies that don't get sick. Not in a land that's dug on the fire by dug on the greatest dug on sodomite parade on the earth. That place is known as a mecca of fucking faggotry, man. It's a pink city. You know? That's why. The Lord makes ugly people to be his chosen people, big fucking nose and freaking little dicks and freaking dog on. Uh, 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 uh. You got them yarmulkes on your head. That's that's Dagon worship. That goes back to the uh, the, the, the receding hairline and freaking ball head and shit. That goes yeah. That shit. Goes, you got the church, the Shirley Temple, uh, uh, the Shirley, the Shirley. Uh, what's that bitch name? Shirley Temple uh, curls and all that. See, you got them yarmulkes on your head. That goes back to the uh, the worship of the fish god Dagon. So the Philistines and, and shit used to worship. The Philistines and them used to worship. So you're 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 you're, you're, cl you're, you're clearly committing idolatry in the Holy Land with the things on your head, and condoms on your head. Then then you're facing west of the wall. Then you then you look like you look like you're doing something else to the wall. I'm 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 leave it at that. It, it, you, you you it looks like you're praying, but it looks like you're doing something else to the wall, man. So that's why Psalm the 144 chapter speaks about the strange nation. How we should be, you know, uh, how we you know going to the prayer of being delivered from the strange nation, man. Especially that strange nation that has stolen our identity. So you can you can, you can say anti S and all that shit, man. No one's buying that shit no more. You're not. You're, the, the world is starting to realize that you're no longer victims. You're not, you're, you were never victims. Now it's so it, you're getting exposed so so much to the point to where you are trying to change your identity. Because case in point, it'll come out that uh, our rooters said there was a report entitled. Uh, uh, no longer just Rothschild, as bank dynasties branches settled name dispute. French and Swiss banks owned by two branches of the Rothschild dynasty agreed on Friday to end a years-long dispute over the family name by promising that neither would ever call itself just Rothschild. You see, that's confusing. That's fucking confusion, man. Are you, are you, are you the chosen people of the Lord? Are you Jews? Are you Israelites? Who the fuck are you, man? You're devils. You're the forger of lies, con. You know? You get that? No, no, thirteen and four. Your lies are being exposed, man. You see? What, 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 what did it say in Revelation, uh, the twelfth chapter? You know? Because the brother's getting that. I'm going to pull that real quick. You know? Revelation twelve and ten. And I heard a loud voice saying, "In heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power." And the power is anointed. For the accused of our brethren is cast down, 
which accused them before our power day and night. You know? They're accusing us, man. They've been accusing us. You know? You know, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know you know how we were, uh, uh, you know how we're, we're the, you know we're, we're we're the ones that are that are contaminating Earth. You know what I'm saying? We're we're the ones that are uh, the menaces to society. Really? Well, how come how come we haven't how, how come we haven't wiped people on people off yet? Huh. I mean, wouldn't that wouldn't that be the wouldn't that be the the, the, the results of that? Clearly, that's not the doggone case. All right. Show us show show us where we are when we come up against you, Connolly. We're gonna come. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come against you in the kingdom, okay? Yahweh Shai is, 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 is going to come up against you because why? Vengeance is his. We just, we just, we just, we just on this here, man. We don't have the power to take you down. When the terror, the real terror comes, you're gonna know that's terror upon you, Esau, so-called white man, and you will be humbled on a global scale. And the world will know that it was a so-called black man that did it. All right? All right. You're going to know when terror comes to your ass. You're going to know what real terror is. What do you call out the Lord, Yahweh, Shemesh, al You're going to know what terror is. Oh, that's said in Deuteronomy 7, chapter. He's a terrible power, man. Yeah, this is Job chapter 13, verse 4. It says, but, surely, Psalm verse 3 says, Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with power. But, Ye are forgers of lies, ye are all positions of no value. Con, you're, 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 you're positions of no value. You're, you're, you're the forger of lies, okay? And you're, you're positions of no value, okay? Because uh, uh, another, another, another term or synonym for a position of value is a doctor or a mad scientist. That's why 1 Timothy 6 and 20 speaks about that science so false to call it because science means knowledge, okay? And your universal knowledge is, is, is wickedness. It's wicked, okay, because it's sensual and devilish, man, and it has no profitability, okay, for, for anyone on the earth. Only for yourself, for people to bow down before you and worship you as you were God. And this is, this is, this is the whole premise and the whole foundation of your rulership, so-called white supremacy, okay, by, by hiding under the guise of the idea of the Lord. Yep. But now, like uh, Yuval Noah Harari came out and said, we no longer need the idea of God anymore. We can create our own food. Because why? These devils, you know, these devils are creating lab-grown meats, okay? Uh, synthetic crops, synthetic crops, and food, you know? You know, uh, 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 you know, uh, creating, creating uh, 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 human beings in a lab and shit like that from, from the DNA from other people. That's madness, man. And on top of that, it came out. There was a, there was, there was a place, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to find it. But there was a place I was found, you know what I'm saying, where um, it was a, it was a, it was a, like an underground, like uh, uh, some kind of building where they, they found a whole bunch of severed body parts and shit, man. And they said that so some of these some of these body parts, they, they found like severed heads that were attached and sewn on to other body uh, uh, other uh, limbs and shit like that. Some Frankenstein shit, yeah, man. Yeah, real Frankenstein shit, man. Yeah. And that's what hey, that's what he saw. That's why we tell you, Jake. That's what he saw is going to go on here because. During that time of tribulation, he sort of be luring y'all into these dog on, you know, vans, take say they get food to eat and all that stuff. And you simple niggas, because y'all don't understand who your enemy is, okay? Who your enemy is. You're gonna go over them, and he's gonna be taking off in of that sidebar program, man. Cutting you up with the pieces and shit. And in some cases, they can eat you. Uh, there was a there was a movie uh, back in the early days called Sun on Green. In which the food that people was eating, which was kind of like almost like a shake type of food, okay, in this dystopian society, it came out that they were eating the uh, 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 the, the, the dead. They were liquefying the dead and eating them. And uh, what's his name? On uh, Matrix, the Matrix actually show you uh, actually how they was feeding the people who they had in those incubators. Okay, they said it was like liquefying the dead and actually feeding them intravenously. Okay, in the Matrix, Morpheus, was, Morpheus told that story to, 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 uh, to Neo. So it's not far fetched that the food that you're eating right now, that is not, it's not natural, that it's lab grown. Okay, they're using cadavers, okay, of animals and cadavers of people, okay, to reintroduce back into, to re reintroduce back into this market. This is the book of Psalm 58 and 3 says, the wicked 
are strange from the moon. They go astray as soon as they depart. Speaking lies. Well, a liar from the beginning. It's like how shy I uh, was cursing out look at describing the Pharisees. He was referencing uh, a Cain, Quayon, for, for lying to Heavenly Father's face uh, after murdering his brother Abel. Because uh, Cain and Abel are the pre incarnations of um, Esau and Jacob. Okay? So when he when he out so so when how should I make that comment? He was really referencing uh, 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 Cain, which is the uh, pre incarnation of the Edomites. That's your progenitor, your forefather. Okay, so you so that further confirms that you devils in the same spirit as Cain, because you're you're of the you're the stock of Cain. You're the, you come from the you come from the loins of Cain. You have the same wicked ass profane spirit as Cain. Okay, you know telling that you know a uh, 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 blasphemy. That's why it says in a uh, Hebrews the twelfth chapter. There's, there's no, there's none uh, more vile or profane and blasphemous than Esau either. Okay? You look up that word for, uh, 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 I believe for, for blasphemy in the Greek. Okay? It's a uh, babaios, uh, which means ungodly. Okay? It's either that or profane. Okay? And it, it, it's translated as ungodly. You see? So people saw their witness of the ungodly nature of the Edomites. Okay, and, then, and see, they're, they're starting to question everything about your rulership, your politics, your, your, your geoeconomics, your, your, your science, especially on behalf of the dragon juice and all the lies that you've been exposed uh, uh, in that regard, all the many lies that you've compromised in that regard, okay, and especially your military industrial conflict, what you're doing though, over there in the Holy Land, and what you're doing in general, all right? Because you devils are, are going, you're, 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 like it says in Job 20 chapter. Your satanic new world order agenda is gonna fail. Just when you think that, just when you think that your your belly has gotten fat off of the resources and, and commodities you've exacerbated from everyone else on the earth collectively, yeah, how yeah, uh, uh, Hamashiach Hausha is gonna rain on you. It's gonna rain on your parade, okay? As soon as Second Peter the third chapter, like a thief in the night, okay? And you know that's gonna happen. That's why you're you're scrambling right now, okay? Frantically because you know that you got but a short time. Short time. Lamentations 4. Starting with verse 21, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Pause. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. We got that cup. Oh yeah. A couple big nations, man. It's gonna pass over you. See, even you know, though those Edomites right now in this society right now, even though Great Bible of America is still in town, still going on. You Edomites, anytime you have a bad day, you are what you you get up and you go and you rather to leave people because you had a bad time. Because you you have psychological issues. You lost a job and you can get another one or or you, or you grew up being abused, you know, because your your daddy spanked you once. You can't take shit. You cannot take anything. You're weak. Okay, that's the reason why that, that the parable with the Lazarus and the rich man, this man coming back and begging us, the very, the very same people that he oppressed, is begging us to go easy on him. This is the reason why uh, uh, when, when we land back on, on, on the uh, position of no value, you go to these knock on doctors, they don't try to they don't try to they don't try to help you. Because they look at you as a super gorilla that can take them bare pain. Okay? I experienced this personally myself. In their military, if you get injured. If you're, if you're an Edomite soldier or service member, so-called white service member, or, or that of the light skin, okay, you can have a bad dream and they'll give you 100% disability called, and say you have PTSD. But a Jake literally have to lose all their limbs. You know, 50, 55, 70, almost 60 years old, and serve for this man 40 years, and have to literally be sitting down in that chair dying in order for these people to turn around and give them 10% disability. And you niggas are actually going to serve for this man? You're going to go overseas to go get slaughtered for this man? This is their time. Why are these so-called Edomites 
be standing up in their own military. But you niggas want, you niggas like to hear that dog on um, friggin' um, hey, thank you for your service, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. I right. said it many times in the dog on the elevator, I'm walking the elevator, get these dog on Edomites walk, I'm going, thank you for your service. I, I'm not in this for you, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm in this for a paycheck. And once they, once they, if they start paying me tomorrow, guess what? I don't show the fuck up to work. Right. Okay? Proud ass motherfuckers, man. See, Jake, Jake is in that mentality because they want to be validated. Because Jake is so insecure. You know what I'm saying? Jake, Jake has been so downtrodden so much in the society, under the main, under, under the main oppression of Esau Edom, that he had, our people have, Jake has developed Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, they didn't really come up to you like as if, like, like they make you look day. I'm making my day. I don't, I don't even think that's how it's like, you don't understand. I didn't see a nigga shot. Well, you tell him to fuck himself because, well, that's not, you know, they can't, they can't take that. I didn't ask you to walk up to me. Full of fucking shit. All right? I'm so called white man, which includes you don't know what they You're full of fucking shit. And particularly man. Okay? Yeah, we're gonna take your bitches for concubine and shit like that. Man, we're gonna stop your guts in, man. I'll be honest with you. Alright, can you get up? Isaiah 13. What's that? Uh, Isaiah 13 and 15. So, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the, uh, rude awakening for you Israelites, man. If you remain in Esau, eating the military, okay? Hey, case the point, I was like, uh, uh, well, let's finish my statement, then I'll go and expound on that. You know, they're gonna be slaughtered. Because case in point, there's an article I sent to brother a couple of days ago. Now Fort Bliss is deploying troops uh, over there to uh, 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 in, uh, to the Middle East. For what purpose? Obviously, to to, uh, to engage in that war they got over there. So they're sending Jaco. This is a lot of a lot of them troops they're sending over there. Uh, Fort Bliss is gonna be sent over there to be destroyed. And then you go over there and think that you're finding a good cause. Okay, when Henry Kissinger even came out and said all military uh, men are like dumb dogs. dumb dogs. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. However, okay, see, Jake, y'all don't have a plan when y'all go in. Go in and get what you can get out of it. Get your check and get the fuck out. Read your contract carefully. If that man, if they break your, if they break, if they have breached the contract, you don't have to honor it. What does the Reserve of National Guard say? A weekend, a month, two weeks of the year. Anything more than that, if they change that, then that's a breach of contract. That's false advertisement according to their law. And they do it, and y'all don't say anything about it because you think you're bound by that. There's nothing you're going to lose. You're not going to get anything from the VA. They'll tell you, but this honorable discharge, this man does not have any honor. Why do you give a crap about a piece of dog on paper that says you serve honorably or you dishonorably discharge? That DD-214 is not going to do you any good. Trust me on that. You're not going to get any job. We're under the curses. Once you take that monkey suit off called dog on uh, a uniform off, nobody gives two shits about you. They don't give two shits about you in that dog on monkey, monkey suit. When you take it off, you're just still a nigga. It's plain and simple. You should learn, and see, our people should learn a lesson uh, from the, the Buffalo Soldiers. Oh, and then when we go into, when we go into war for the devil, uh, we weren't being treated honorably, man. We had to we had to ride in the back of the, the, the bus and shit like that, like Rosa Parks. We had to ride in the fucking back of the bus. We, we would come home from fighting that war and still get treated like, like so-called second-class citizens, like, like but nothing. You, but you know what? See, Esau, Esau, they're, they're, they're clever in the scriptures. And the thing is, is we supposed to be separated from these from these people, and that's why when they realize, wait a minute, at some point in time, especially as we start to come we come back into remembrance of who we are, we will be a much stronger force, okay, if we stay separated from them. So they use Martin Luther Cohn to integrate, okay, us with them, so that they can teach us all their nasty habits. That's why you see Jake, you know, licking box, you know, uh, faggots. Okay, accepting every abomination of this man for, for chump change. Would have no problem destroying his own neighborhood, his own household, for the sake of built Lupra from this man. And that's why right now, and this is all the Lord, this is why right now, while we're in this awakening right now, 
understanding who we are, and we are Yasharala. Jake them don't want to heed to this because why? They've indulged for the last 70 years in Esau's folly. They've indulged the last 70 years in Esau's folly. That's why Esau right now has mayors, okay, and governors who look like Doggo and Jake set up around the place. They even allowed a Hamite, Edomite, okay, with Obama, that fucking faggot, okay, to fool all of us. They got Floyd Mayweather and all these other guys, they set them up and they give them these fake, 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 fake networks of, of billions. No, they're not worth no damn billions, man. They're not. So, the so-called money that Floyd Mayweather sent over there, that's not his, that's theirs. The jet is theirs. They just use Floyd Mayweather because why? What does Floyd Mayweather have to call himself? The money team. And our, our, our men and women have a love for money. Because they, they think that's a be all, save all. We were given a warning if riches trust not in oppression. Who's oppression? Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man. Who's our enemy? If riches increase, set your not heart not on them. Why? Because our heart should be set on the kingdom of heaven. You can have money, okay, but you don't worship it. Well, it's saying in scripture, money is a defense, man. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it speaks about how money is a defense, a defense, man. Okay. But, but what you brought up there, this is Isaiah 13 and 15, Psalm 15, it says, Everyone that is found shall be trust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. What's the modern day sword? Okay. Esau eat them. Further modifications of them, man. Okay. Now case in point, there's a report. It says minutes this is this reported yesterday. Minutes ago, Israel officially crossed the line, Iran said. Alright, because uh, you know Russia and Iran have been talking about, you know, these Edomites crossing that red line in terms of these war provocations. So it says Israel launched their largest incursion into Gaza so far with ground troops supported by fighter jets and drones. The IDF struck anti-tank missile launch sites, command and control centers, and Hamas operatives. According to the IDF, these ground incursions come ahead of an expected invasion of Gaza that may cause all hell to break loose. That's, that's exactly what's happening. Right? We are looking for that. It gets juicier. It gets juicier. Now, listen to this. It says, uh, this, is, this is on behalf of the, uh, of, the, the uh, of Iran's foreign minister. As I quote, I warned the U.S. and its proxy Israel that if they do not immediately stop the crime against humanity and genocide in Gaza, anything is possible at any moment and the region will go out of control. That's a threat. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a clear threat of war against you Edomites. See? That's why I was to say Joel, uh, uh, Joel, the third chapter, let the weak say I'm strong. Okay, all these nations that at once bowed down before your, your, your Western, your, your Western authority, okay, you know, by, uh, uh, you know, through international, uh, uh, you know, uh, international trade, okay, through these military uh, policies like the uh, JCPOA, Iran nuclear deal that you devils were sending from in 2018. <laughs> so obviously that was a further, that was a that was a further declaration of war against uh, against Iran when you were sending from that JCPOA uh, Iran uh, nuclear treaty. Why? Because in Psalm 55 it speaks about how you devils are truce breakers, man. You broke every treaty with the so-called Native American Indians and the tribe of Gad. So it's not a coincidence that you've done the same with every with other nations. Especially with the arm, the whole the whole JCPOA deal. All right, so you cannot be trusted. This is why Iran is making these statements, man, a including their their allies, man. Okay, you know, uh, uh, hey, R Russia, Russia's uh, Russia's former president, uh, Dmitry Medvedev, is blatantly threatening America to be destroyed. See, so they're tired. They're tired of the the, the wine. That's why Jeremiah fifty first chapter speaks about how these nations be mad. Off of that wine, okay, the wine of Esau, Edom. You see, 
Case in point, what, what's going on right now? Can you get your well the third chapter? A battle is being prepared to destroy the armies of the heathen nations, man. Because like they say in the world, the world, the, the world is not big, big enough for the two of us. I mean, what? There's not going to be two kings sitting on a throne. Okay, ruling, ruling every, over everyone. Okay? Yahweh Shai is the king of all kings and lord of all lords. Now, King David is our actual physical king in the flesh, if you will. But Yahweh Shai is the king of all king, lord, king of all kings, lord of all lords. Okay? And he's going to take the crowns of the, of, of the kings of the heathen nations by waging war on you, like it's prophesied in the second edge of the 13th chapter. Why? Because it's about that time. Go ahead. Uh, Joel 3 and 9. See? Why? Because it's about that time for the earth to, to disclose, to, to, long, to no longer disclose that blood that has been shed. Go ahead. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, Psalm verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up. The mighty man, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares and the sword, and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's the tale of these heathen nations, man. That's right. They're no longer afraid of the Edomites. You got I, neither, no are, I, neither are we. Yeah, you got North See, Korea. See, we are weak too. We are we considered also weak too. So we have thrown down the old ways that we had, the old man, before the old ways and thinking that the so-called white man is wicked, our oppressor, okay, is the way. Okay, it's the only way that we can survive and live. And instead, the Lord has put a spirit in certain men and a great multitude of women and children and also other men. Okay, but in particular, the men that are out here on the highway standing up like warriors that we are. Okay? But what? To speak against this double on Edomite Queendom, for a great Bible on America, United States of, of, of America, which uh, I love what the brother, I think it was on uh, GMS Assembly, said uh, USA stands under Satan authority. That's beautiful. Love that. Okay? And letting you know that you are weak and we are strong. So the weak is saying, we are strong. And we're going to continue to come out here. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Okay? Because we can bring that out too, but you've been the enemy coming as a flood. You're not coming as a flood against the two turns. That's, that's a given. You're going to be, the Lord is using them as a flood. You're going to come as a flood against the righteous. Right. And you don't know damn know well what is going to take place with that. It says, assemble yourselves and come. All ye heathen and gather yourself together round about. Till of course thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, the Alba Shai. Let the heathen be awakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all heathens round about. We are gonna have front seat, huh? That's right. I can't wait. I can't wait to see them televise the first tactical nuke that go off. Or one of those ICBM to go up and hit someplace. I'm taking that and hit the Israel first. God, that's why, uh, you know, the Apostle Kabar has said not too long ago, he's like, hey man, when the missiles got, when the missiles get shot, we're gonna be dancing, man. Oh, we're gonna be dancing. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be, everybody, everyone else is bugging out. We're gonna be rejoicing, man. We're gonna have oh, a yeah. guy on. We're gonna be. Hey. Oh, the Lord, man, hey, the Lord, the Lord, then they said, um, uh, at, at death, I'm gonna be laughing. Every time we see the lesion, now we share text of the lesions. I know what I do is laugh. I feel nothing. I go, that's it? 22? That's it? That's not, that's not a match. That's, that's not, not, that's, that's that's not, not a massacre, man. Yeah, nah. Nah, wait till the Lord start putting down dog on thousands of you. That's when, that's when you should report that. Don't report no damn, no damn 22. What the fuck is that shit? Crackers are weak, man. Y'all ain't doing it the right way. I hope, I hope y'all are right about those dog on hammers coming across the border and do some bullshit here, man. I hope that's the case. I hate your smiling faces, man. People are useless. I really do. W-E-M. Please start killing these no more useless, no more years. See, we're starting to hear more and more. more hey, there's multiple stories. There's multiple uh, reports of people getting put to death. You know what I'm saying? There, there, there's a couple of uh, uh, 
There was a couple of uh, Halloween house party shootings that took place down here in Lower Valley, and it took place in Chicago recently. Oh. Then there was a there was a, a family in North Carolina of five that all got slain, uh, 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 by the by the modern day sword, man. Okay. Then there was a then there was another report of a shooting in New Jersey that supposedly followed up after that main shooting down there that Edomite in Maine. Okay. So every time you turn around, the judgment. You know th that springs forth, like it says in Amos fifth chapter, man. Oh, uh, speaking of that, and I, know, I, I bet you most of those were Doggo and Jakes, right? Because they fall in the ways that they, uh, they fall in the ways that they eat it. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I got First Peter. I'm gonna read this uh, couple uh, uh, couple lines here. Oh. This is the book of First Peter four, sound where Swami says, "But love, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange things happen unto you." But rejoice in so much as you are partakers of Messiah's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceedingly joy. If ye be a reproach for the name of Messiah, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and power rested upon you. On their part, he is evil, speaking and smoking off, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief who is a murderer and who is a thief I saw you that's right the other box speaks up. or as an evil doer or as a busybody in other man's matter yet if any man suffers as a Christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify God on, on this behalf for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God and if first began out of us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Right. Who are the, who are the true Christians, man? The, the Mashiachio. Okay, the anointed ones. Okay? That's who the true Christians are. The same Christians that were called uh, Christians in Antioch. Okay? Those are the same exact ones in the book of we spoke about in the book of Acts. That's why we get chastised, man. So we don't have to, we can suffer now, so we don't have to suffer in the world, okay? At the time of Jacob's trouble, at the time of martial law, at the time of great famine, great pestilence, all right? Great civil unrest, okay? And especially in the time of these, uh, this, this thermonuclear onslaught known as Hamagata in this last world war. That's why the battle, the battle was, to, was prophesied to, to you know, to, to, uh, the, the battle was, was prophesied in Yahweh Shapat, man, in the Middle East, around the Persian Gulf, the Euphrates River. You see? That's why the, the kings of the East to be prepared, okay, around that region. We're seeing Revelation 16 chapter for that war to transition over here to cleanse this land, okay, and for us to be delivered in the midst of that destruction. In the Battle of the Great, the, 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 the place of drawing waters where the, the, the main, the, the captives of, of Jerusalem were predominantly uh, to, to dwell at in this Western Hemisphere. So we are the saints. We are the true Christians, man. That's why we get chastised, man. Because because the Lord, the, the, the Lord, the Alba Shemesh is constantly purging us from something that can destroy us. That's why we we get jacked up with uh, ailments and whatnot. Okay. So that way we don't we, we, we don't have to face death with, with, with the rest of these people, man. That's why it says here in the Book of Acts, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Is that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High God Yahweh. So that's that straight and narrow gate of righteousness, man. We're seeing the same Matthew, the 15th chapter, the second edge of the 17th chapter, man. There's no way to wait to get to the kingdom of heaven. To earn the kingdom of heaven. It's not gonna be given to us, we have to earn it, man. A lot of guys think they can just set on his he set on their leaves, like it says in the book of Zephaniah the first chapter. That's not gonna happen. Man. Walking Dead over here right now, okay? They don't consider. You can't get more obvious than what we are right here on the side. You get a mind to the beach right here, they don't understand the consequences of this. They really don't understand how horrific this this is not gonna be just put into place like nicely. This is gonna be a draconian measure that they're gonna be using because there's gonna be resistance. So for you pussy ass niggas and specs. Yeah, we think that somehow if you just bow your head down easy, it's gonna go like that. No, 
there's going to be resistance, starting with the man of the Lord, Yahweh Shadal Shai. Okay? Esau is not looking to get some people to take it and then the rest of people just go on out their own society. No, this man will not die, he wants everybody. Okay? And they will force you by the sword to get it if they have to. Because uh, right now, with Esau being on, uh, on the, uh, uh, being exposed right now, okay, by not only the prophets, but by these other nations that are coming to say what a hypocr the, the hypocrisy of Great Babylon and America, Amalek, okay, there's not going to be any need for the boogeyman to hide himself anymore or his true intention. Right. Okay, think of the most, think of a horror movie or those like psycho movies where they'll say, you know what? Only you are not meddling to my affairs. Now I have to put you to death. This is exactly what Esau is going to do. Okay? They are prepared with all kinds of wicked devices and wish to put, okay, those who are anti change or anti end of the or anti Semitism, which also means what? Anti wicked, okay? Anti Amalekite or Amalek, with wicked Jew, the wicked Jewish people over there. Right. Then one way or the other, they're going to create more on this on this earth. Now, why you don't have to give a two shits? If you have underground cities and underground places already prepped for you with food to last for about half a century, do you really give a shit what the hell is going up on top of a bunch of dug on peasants? No. So Esau is going to come with great pride. There's a reason why that warning came and said, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. But the devil know he has a short time, okay? He's coming to a great crowd. Right. This man, this, this man ain't mad. He's proud. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. And he reads, Little children, it is the last time, and he have heard the anti-Christ, anti-Mashiach, anti anointed one. Says little children, this is the last time, and, he, and, he, and as ye have heard that anti Mashiach shall come, even now are there many anti Mashiachs, a Mashiachium, whereby we know that it is the last time. These anti ones are living in, 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 in the last, the, the, the last hour of, of their rulership. See, meaning what? They're living within the last era of the rulership, the last time, the time period. Of their, of, their, of their their satanic empire and they see it crumbling so now what Esau is looking to do is, is, is use these damage control tactics use censorship with the content that we put out through the spirit power of Yahweh by Shemeshah, exposing the wickedness to wake up our people first and foremost alright looking to uh, shadow ban us see alright accuse us, demonize us when we expose him under, under, the, under those anti uh, Shemitic tropes. But no one's buying that shit no more. Because they're starting to realize, the world's starting to realize that you devils are not victims. You're the perpetrators. You can't be both. In your fantasy matrix, you, can't, you cannot be both, man. Even in your fantasy matrix. That's your dream. You're going to be able to you could be able to just ride off into the sunset and be the devil that you are and create this and completely convert this world into a completely satanic, dystopian, totalitarian, uh, uh, satanic uh, empire. You see? This, this, is, this, is, this is where you have, you have, uh, you have fallen for, you, you have, you have uh, been, you, you have uh, been uh, uh, deceived by your own devices, man. That's a part of the derision that Yahweh by Shimon Shah is giving you. Okay? You can't, you can't justify the destruction of a, of a multitude of children by looking to falsely associate them with a terrorist group that you fucking fund. You fund them. Seriously, you're fucking stupid, man. Like it says in the book of Ezekiel, the 28th chapter, he's wiser than Daniel, but he's wiser than Daniel's left hand side. But look at it, it's evil. See? Because there's no logic. There's no logic in, 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 in uh, uh, the, 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 the wine of fornication of Babylon and Great on behalf of Edomites. It's Western philosophy. A so called white supremacy. There's no logic whatsoever, man. Oh, yeah, well, you know, hey, what are you, what, what are you doing over there to them, them, them uh, children? 
that call themselves Palestinians on behalf of the Palestinians is, is evil, right? Oh, no, well, it's because they're, 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 uh, they're with Hamas. Well, motherfucker, you fund Hamas, nigga. So how do you make that work? There's no logic in your, in, in your, in your, your devices, man. So now what you're doing is damage control. It's not working anymore. The world is on, you are on public display before the world, man. That's why it says in Wisdom of Psalm the 15th chapter, the world is going to fight against you. I mean, what? Yahweh Shai and his angels, okay, and, uh, and the 144,000 are going to fight against you. And you got these these lower these these lower these lower echelon people that are fighting against you and their their little ways, man, little, little truthers and whatnot. I'll be out these uh, alternative media sites. They're exposing your wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it ain't like it ain't like it ain't like it's only us, okay? We know you're afraid, Esau. You're afraid. But you've been exposed. You're afraid of the the, the cast of the bag. What's well, been at the bag, man? As soon as Abba came on the highways and hedges, <laughs> the cow's already out of the bag. Now the thing is supposed to fall like a wildfire. Now there's new Akim waking up all over the place. Even 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 so much, even as much so as now. You got you got Jake that's gonna wake up in the last hour, at the last moment before the electric shield. That's why we're still coming out here. We don't know if the electric shield or not. And like it says in Ezekiel third chapter, how Yahweh by Shimon Shah is gonna cause the tongues of the mouths of the prophets to cleave to the, the roofs of their mouths, roughly paraphrase means you mean what? You people no longer gonna see us out here. You're not gonna be sounding an alarm, blowing it by blowing a trumpet, lifting up our voices. We're very much awesome. Yeah, we ain't gonna be out here in the team anymore. Fine. We're not gonna be out here, son, that we care. But hands dropping on us, sun beating on our skin. Ants crawling all over us. So As we have by the hour, at least 2,000 cars drive by us. We're on a mean artery here in El Paso. And now one of these people will stop to hear this. Now one of them. Now one of them will stop to let it air to hear this. But you know who's listening? Esau. This is the book of Job 15, it's starting with verse 20. And it says, the wicked man trailing, repeating all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited out of the sword. He wandered aboard the bread, saying, where is it? Knowing that the day of darkness is ready on his hands. Trouble and anger shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready for a Okay? So, this man knows what's going on. Why? It's already been written. Esau is now watching the videos of the prophets because he likes what he's hearing. He's looking to adjust his strategy. Everything he does, we can see to it. From his puppet, uh, nigga, mayors, and governors that he set up to, to keep to keep Jacob asleep and soon that he's helping him. Okay? That's why there's specific states that are chosen. It's a nigga freaking dog on uh, uh sort of my bitch up uh, who's the mayor up in um Chicago. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Yeah, uh, Lori Lori yeah. yeah, Lori Lightfoot, her dyke ass. Okay, and then you have a nigga, a bald ass plain face fucking nigga, I call him a you know, up in New York. When you look at the migrant, the migrant issue that's going on, it's always Chicago and New York. Why they don't talk about all the other places? Okay? And the passageway that they go through, okay, to Texas, well, who's the governor? It's a fucking normal street. Okay? And you notice how crap how they, how they craft that. Okay? All of the people that are speaking on this migrant process happen to look like Jake. And you have a representation. You have the three states or the three areas in which there's this impact of this immigration process. You have Texas, okay, which has a, a uh, 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 the, uh, the governor is a, is a double so-called Hispanic man. You have Chicago, in which the mayor who speaks is a so-called uh, Native American. And in New York, you have the freaking doggone uh, mayor who's a so-called Negro. It represents what we talk about when we come and say the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos. Come on, Esau, we got you, man. OK? 
okay? Because in order to kingdom house, the tribe of God, which is the so-called, which is the so-called Native Americans, okay, which is part of that nine tribe, and you have the southern kingdom, which has the Negroes, which is the so which is uh, uh, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah. And you have a representation from each one of those particular areas. In reality, it could be actually three, 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 three divided into three kingdoms, but it's two. Because you have the Native American group ten with the northern tribe. And isn't it strange that you have uh, uh, the, the, the so-called migrants going into uh, an area of this nation in which a representation of each one of those groups, okay, is the leader of that particular city. Yeah, you didn't think we would figure that out, right? So, see, because you want to have Jake them to look at the bad guys when it all goes down. In reality, you're the direct way because they cleave onto you. They work for you. How is that saying St. Mark 3 and 35? You know, in regards to what the, the true biblical definition of a brother is, man. One one who would uh, uh the one who would uh, uh, be involved in this gospel, one who would fight for righteousness sake, man. So our, our case in point, that's why you're sincerity, they're just a nigga wearing a fucking garment and a freaking Bible. That don't that don't impress me. Yeah, even, even that. that. We need one of the sheep spoken, man. So you just you just in fact you worse than fucking the one two third nigga walking by when you doing shit because you just you just fucking playing nigga. Yeah. You worse than that, you worse than that, Jake. Who ain't doing who ain't doing a damn thing? That's why you've infiltrated and you ain't doing the damn work, man. Yep. What it say in first Peter 4 chapter, expand on that. That's why you have a Bashim Shah said what uh, you know, judgment shall start at the, at the sanctuary, man. You got a lot of you got a lot of infiltrators out here, man. You got a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. You see? Yeah, just give me a brother garment. Let me just stand up here, get the fuck out here. Yes, man. Yeah, and uh, let, let me let me shit. let me show some charisma and attract a lot of followers. You know, it's this thing is not about that, man. Nope. You don't matter. Usual, I can I can get I can get some of the lowest fucking view count. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. And that's fine. That's fine. That's a good that's a good sign, actually. You know, it's actually a good sign, man. Cause it keep it really keeps you hungry, you know. And then on top of that, like I said, uh, Ezekiel 11 chapter, the Heavenly Father said that uh, Ezekiel 11 and 16, he says that Yahweh Hashem said that he'll be a small, he'll be like a small sanctuary to his elect. Means what? His house is not open to everybody. That's it's that clear, you know. And that, that's why in Saint Luke 15 and 7 it says, even if if one sinner repents, repents it, the angels rejoice in heaven. This is about quality. El Paso that has about 600,000 people. 600,000. The Lekko this time might only be six people or maybe only be like eight or ten people. God willing, we are part of that, we are part of that elect. And really, in reality, there's only two. God willing, it's us two and our household. Right. Everybody else is going to look at the one burning dead. I don't give two shits. I really don't care. I honestly don't care. By Jeremiah, the, the Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. Jeremiah said, uh, the Heavenly Father told Jeremiah, pray not for these people. No, I, 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 so it's out. What do you think about it? Yahushua even said that. Yahushua said, uh, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Yeah, right. Because that is that, is that, is that simple and straightforward, man. Fuck the world, man. I want to say 1 John 2 15. Okay? Uh, be not a lover of the world, roughly, pray, pray. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and all that, case for all of these bitches. You know what I'm saying? Getting these BBL surgeries. A lot of them are kicking the bucket, e either during the surgery or before the surgery. And especially going them going across the sea, going to, uh, going to Mexico or whatnot, because uh, um, the cut the surgery is cheaper. Okay, so they're going over there. You know, oh, this one this one Indian actress, this Elamite chick, uh, spent sixty thousand dollars on a, a cosmetic surgery, a BBL surgery, and the bitch couldn't even sit down for six months. 
So that's why. Hey, what is uh, what does it say? Say fuck the ATF. What profit that man? If he should gain the whole world and lose his soul, there's a price for looking to be prosperous in this world. You can, it could be a lot. Suppose it was going to be. Hey, the, the message is always the same. Repent or die. Matter of fact, get it off of this. Can you get uh, 2 Peter 3? And uh, start at verse 9, Bob Bishop. This is about repentance, man. We're healers. We're not, we're not, we don't come out here to just cuss out Esau, man. We don't come out here, and we don't come out here just to cut, uh, uh, curse out you heathen. And even two thirds of our people. It's, there's two sides of the spectrum in this ministry. It's to, it's to, it's to, it's to, uh, it's to, uh, 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 heal and to rebuke. That's right. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, chapter verse ten. It says nine. Chapter nine. Chapter nine. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as come as some man count slackness. But it's long suffering to us, but not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He doesn't, hey, what did it say in um, Ezekiel the 33rd chapter? In, in, uh, some of the precepts, man. The Holy Father does not delight in, in destroying his people. But what, uh, but this is his movie, man. He set up the wicked to be wicked, two thirds of our people specifically. So he has to destroy them. But the door is open for repentance, man. So two thirds that get destroyed you can never say, Presented St. John 15, 22, I had a cloak for my sin. Nah. The highways and the hedges of uh, uh, Salaki, the prophets of Yahweh by Shemeshai, but the highways and the hedges in season, in season, out of season. Man. Oh, we have no fucking chance. We're out here. We're not sitting down watching the video what game is going on. James Harden, Harden, all these guys is on. Yeah, why is he holding out? Why, why is he, he holding out? out? You know? And we don't know why he's doing that too. He, he, he might be looking and saying, what the hell am I doing this type of shit for? That's why he saw his concern like that. Whoa. It was an exhibition. Oh, it's exhibition. Yeah, it's oh, exhibition. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? But but see, if of course Tyson, they let Tyson Fury win. Yeah. Because of the, the, the political optics. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know we know what's up, man. But see, yeah, but still, it was a Jake. Jake beat that dude's ass the whole the whole fight. And then and then, and then it wasn't a surprise, man. See, they use us and abuse us, man. You're we're, we're good enough, we're only good enough to entertain this devil. See, this is this part of sneers of this devil's uh, 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 empire got Jake in that trance. Still sleep off this line of fornication, man. But yet, still, the door's repentance is open for eternal life. Esau cannot offer that, man. All he offers is death masqueraded by gifts. Especially in Hollywood. Oh, totally. See? That's why I keep reading this verse. Yeah, where it says. Yeah. This, this, but this, this the day way. of the Lord of Ashiach will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are in shall be burned up. Everything you see around is going to burn, man. All these, like these, like these clowns roll by in their low riders, little Iskarite roll by in their low riders, uh, you know, you, that shit going to burn to a crisp. Like your little mansions. That shit going to burn to a crisp. Oh, I like the, the 11 voice. This is this is critical, yeah. Because 
this actually is a warning actually and it tells you actually to open your eyes and what we're standing just said to you it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what man of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God wherein the heavens being on fire should be dissolved and the elements should melt with fervent heat so the Lord is telling you that he's telling us if you know that I just told you what I'm going to do use these nukes to melt this place and destroy this place why would you have cut of useless conversation or interaction okay and I mean when I say that I mean it like it, like hardly like not like Okay, this is your poor work or something that you have to deal with like that. But I'm talking about you actually sit down with people and talk for the future that don't exist. Me and the eye, before we turn on the camera, was talking about the fact these, these are Jake, these are Jake's who's driving around in their, in their souped up vehicle, you know, with a top down and everything like that. You know, look like, like the vehicles that they special, like specialize. Kind of almost look like those vehicles from. Uh, Nothing but a G thing, you know, with the, you know that, those, those type of vehicles. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And these people are in the spirit of mirth. And I said to the Ark, I said, even when I was you before I found this truth, I never was in a position to be in the mirth. Because even when I was able to do something, I struggled so hard to get to be able to do that that I actually did not really enjoy it. Because in the back of my head, it was like, when am I going to fall on the next time again? When is the next tribulation coming again? I cannot, I, I, I can't be in that kind of murk. It isn't to say I can't have fun, but I cannot do that. Because in the back of my mind and my conscience, I constantly am aware that this place is temporary. On top of that, we were never, ever meant to have a good time in this place. Right. Then the Lord is not going to keep you in a sad state consistently. That's coming up during Jacob's trouble for the dog on two thirds. Okay? Well, right now, as we stand up here as men, we represent a body that goes out in the highway and the byway that's mocked, laughed, and ignored. Mostly ignored. Okay? That's why you cannot be in a kind of mind state to believe that people are going to accept what you know, which we have in the script. The scriptures already told us that they're going to ignore us and they're going to demark us, scoff us, those who, hey, preach and win. You did your job. You did what you had to do. Because when the time comes and the elect have been sealed, and those dead angels are loved to bring judgment on the earth by the order of the Mashiach, Yahweh Shimei Hashai, we get to laugh. We get to eat. Now it's our time to walk and scoff, but that's exactly what we're gonna do. God willing, if we can throw a video up there, we're gonna it's gonna be about the, the vast judgment of Jakes. Okay? Now we get to laugh with you. Now you know that there was a prophet amongst you. Now you people drive around in your, in your cars, okay? Over across the street there is uh, what looks to be a J. Easily, easily could be in the 60s. This is how you know the state is going on cardboard boxes spinning around. That's the state we're in. But, gotta say, in Deuteronomy 37, uh, they've been bringing out a lot of the baby boomers, which, which is most of these Edomites. Okay? Don't have two, don't have two penny to fucking pinch. Okay? Don't have two penny to pinch. And their king is not doing anything for them in their old age. So simultaneously, Jake and these Edomites are getting that double judgment. In fact, all these other nations, because they're all our enemies, are getting that judgment. These Ishmaelites over here, when all said and done, if that war escalates over there, anyone that looks sort of Indian or El Elamite or Ishmaelite, because they all look alike. You know how they always say niggas all look alike? Or Negroes all look alike? They all look alike. Suddenly your 7-Eleven is gonna get fucking torched down. Okay? 
Your little business that you own. Walking around with a turban is going to be a fucking death is a, is a, is a, is a death sentence in your ass. Household is run by a damn woman who won't even go by our eyes. We have to get this house and pay the amount of taxes every month, land taxes or property taxes, in which, which is the same as a list paying for rent out there. It makes absolutely no fucking sense, logically. But now you're stuck in a, in a 30 year mortgage. In a city that has no jobs, there's no work. Yeah, the low, it's a low market, man. Minimum wage is a fucking joke over here. Minimum wage is like eight bucks. It's a terrible like place, that. man. They're down there in California. Yeah, that's a business. How, uh, Gavin Newsom, I spoke about how California had raised the, uh, the minimum wage for like craft workers or whatever, 20 bucks an hour, man. That's, that's not, that's, see, that's a, that's a vain gift, all right, to, to hide their, their uh, to, 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 uh, I could say Proverbs 17 chapter. Okay, to pervert their judgment. Revert the lack of righteous judgment. See? That's right. Case in point. Everything about Esau is a lie, man. You know? Everything about this place is a fucking lie. Right? right? These people are getting tired of it. That's being revealed. A lot of protests and they're and attacking cops at an alarming rate. Because there's a, like I said, St. Luke's 21st chapter, the nations are in a state of perplexity, distressed. Because they see that the, 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 the so-called dream that Esau has, given, has uh, sold them was a fucking, it, 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 was a, it was a farce the whole time. So now what are they looking to do? It's not like they believe in the Lord. So what are they, not like they come to the truth. That's why they don't stop, they don't, they don't come to the, they don't stop, uh, they don't come to the altar, man. You know, around, around, around the globe. But they will be looking around here for, for us at some point in time when it all goes up. When, them, when the Edomites will start coming around here, I saw the eating these number one Latinos around here, these proud-eyes Latinos. Oh, they'll be looking for those Mayates out there. But we won't be out here. I know I won't be out here. Yeah. And hell, I'll be out your ass. That's why it's second, well, it's that second edge 15 4 says, let the rest be paraphrased. Let's, let's the uh, faithful die in their faithlessness. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. so you, you people are going to take matters into your own hands. That's why we're hearing about more of these shootings. I just heard there's another shooting in Las Cruces. I just see right now another shooting happening in Las Cruces. The Halloween party over here, not too far away from here. The Halloween party shooting happened. Shooting happened in Jersey. 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 Shooting happened in Jersey
Mashanak Kavoyim Lahas Kwanim Shalak and Warbakab, the double honor to the apostles, elders, great millstone, and the likewise, and the like minded, and likewise, Sikwani will occupy across the four corners. Also, we wish you a sound action, faith, truth, sincerity. Shalom, honor, salutation, the Bayah Shadow, down the house of David, along with the rest of the one third, elect men, women, and children, business. All right, with that, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, all right, soon. Sure. very soon, very, very soon. Shalom to your left, Shabbat Shalom to the left. And I can get a still. I, I did. I can, I can get.